afternoon. It's literally been a week um, since I've had my puppy, but welcome back to my channel. This is Angelica. If you're new here, press the subscribe button. We are gonna be joining the hashtag angel family because this guy just came home a little over a week ago and we are gonna be saving a whole day today. Um, basically a half wasted day just because I am clearly in my lazy era. I do not know why. We gotta, we gotta make this right. So right now I'm getting ready to go work out and it's currently, I think about like noon around there. Get ready with me, basically. We're gonna be saving a half wasted day because I wanna be semi-productive today. I'm gonna take you guys on a whole vlog. We're gonna be going down to Tacoma and also be doing stuff around my apartment complex and stuff like that, so. Let's get this freaking started. Oh, I should do a fit check. Okay, I'm putting you down now. Room free. So you guys probably heard music and also rainforest type of sound effects in the background, but it's only because it kind of helps anxious dogs go to sleep. Clearly it's working for this one. And this guy right here was sleeping, but he heard me getting ready, so. My apartment right now, I'm not gonna lie, is an absolute mess and I do not even wanna show you guys what it looks like, but I had to make a barrier just because the two dogs kinda don't get along that well. But who wants to see my actual fit check? First of all, we have Aritzia and Aritzia. This is the new golden line from Aritzia and it's so buttery soft. And I've had this previously, so it kind of goes hand in hand. I love the matching set to everything. Um, today, what's on the agenda? Occupying the dogs for the time being. Me going to the gym, making lunch, them eating lunch. I also have to look through my wardrobe and kind of clean it out because I wanted to kind of like put some stuff on Depop. Just because I realized when I buy clothes, I can't keep all of it, you know? So we're gonna do that today, and we're also going down to Tacoma, like I said. I will get to touch grass for the first time in my yard, which is amazing. <sighs> go to the gym. You, on the other hand, go take a nap in the crate. So let's put him away. I'll show you guys how to do that. Meanwhile, this boy right here, he gets to roam around, okay? Um, free roam, he has his privileges. He's turning five this year. He moved his crate here for the time being, just for today. And this guy actually loves being in the crate. He'll maybe whine for like, honestly, maybe, five, 15 seconds, but after that, he usually just goes to sleep. So I kind of have three blankets just so I know it's like, like pitch dark in there. I have Brandon Sock in here, and then I have a couple toys, one bone, one ball, two balls actually, my headband, and a rope toy. That way, you know, he doesn't get like anxiety, there's some stuff to do, and also it's like so he doesn't pee in there, you know? You gotta make sure that they, you get a small crate if it's like a little bit too big. I would just kind of make it a little smaller in there like with the bedding, put some blankets in there. That way they like know not to soil inside the crate. So this guy is overdue for a nap time because he's been up for about two and a half hours and that's kind of too long. Let's see a half wasted day for you and for me. Ready to do this? Hello, 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 hello. Angel family, hi. See ya. And you see how he just kind of lays down in there like that guys? I'm gonna be doing the dishes, a little bit of tidying up just because this place just looks like a mess. And I know I have to have like some boundary over here blocking between my older dog and Koda, the new pup. I have to separate them because if I'm not looking at them 24 seven, like actually physically sitting there and like watching them, there is literally gonna be a dog tag. Well, Arlo will nip at him when it's like enough is enough and you're not stopping. That's basically my situation. So far, we are being very productive. Um, I worked out for about an hour and a half. That's usually my routine every other day. I like to work in the morning. My boyfriend likes to work out at night because obviously he works, you know, like a full schedule and doesn't come home until like evening time. So I'm just kind of like 
I would rather go in the daytime in the early morning or like early afternoon, whatever, just because there's no one there. Because one, everyone's off to work. What the hell are you doing on a random Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, late morning, early afternoon? time. You know what I mean? People who even work remote, I feel like don't even work out during that time period. Even though it gets you motivated when it's busier in, you know, the gym. My gym is big, but I don't like it when it's super crowded because it stinks. And I don't want to wait 15 minutes for someone to get off a machine so I can like go on and go home. You know, you get what I mean. The girlies, the gym girlies get what I mean. ever just because it's hyperallergenic I get it at mud bay and it makes their skin so soft okay it's I think it's vegan too but it's for sensitive skin sensitive skin for me for the dog itself I always wipe his paws because he always steps on his pee I swear that's the first thing I do once he gets up I have to take him to go potty time to wash the dishes so long so long so long That is my go-to in glowy skin, even toned skin in general, y'all. Liquid organic pure pineapple, not from concentrate juice. Originally I found this out, not gonna lie, because um, I tried this I think like two years ago when I got my wisdom teeth taken out and I drank this three days in a row, I think like two or three times a day for those three days consecutively. And the swelling, okay, because pineapple, I guess it reduces your inflammation and whatnot and it does your skin wonders. I've been stressed out the past, <laughs> three weeks only because of the freaking eclipse and the zodiac thing okay and it says it's supposed to end on the 25th like my life okay like i've been dealing with so many personal stuff everything's going wrong so i developed two pimples but now they're slowly going away but i had, a, I had one here and one big one here and i was like oh my gosh i can't wear makeup so this is my my um what is it called my hack also it just tastes so good fun fact i did not even like pineapple up until like now like two years ago like Pineapples are so good. I don't know why I didn't like it. Anyways, my eczema has been got, getting really, really bad lately. I don't know what to do. It hurts. I think I like scratched myself in the middle of the night. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I scratched myself in the middle of the night, I think when I'm sleeping. So now I have to continuously put on lotion, like my heavy cream, and just not touch it. It just sucks because I always wash my hands, you know what I mean? I'm always a clean person, so it's like, Washing your hands makes it more dry and it takes that moisture out and then it's just like I'm touching dogs <sighs> I'm semi-allergic Anyways, what I was planning on doing right now was just to relax a little bit um, Just so I can like You know get the dogs kind of playing a little bit and running out their energy I might give Arlo a bone or like a puzzle because I just feel bad. He's just kind of been like sleeping He did have a puzzle this morning, but he gets really distracted with a new pup like I'm telling y'all, it's a mess right here, okay? But I wanted to run up little pup again because the schedule is that he wakes up for an hour and a half, maybe two hours max being awake, and then he will sleep for one to three hours. Puppies, not gonna lie, I think they're supposed to have like 18 hours of sleep around there or something a day. I did not know that. Now that I do, we are on a consistent schedule here. be the cutest Aritzia sweat soup set ever. I think I need more. This is me justifying my purchases, maybe. Mm. <laughs> this is, what, 48 minutes. I just drove like 45 minutes to pick them up. 48, 48 minutes to go home home. We got the pup here. Traffic. This guy in the back is like, I don't even know what's going on. Okay, so we finally got home. I cannot wait to show you guys like my sister's reaction. Like him, girl. Yeah. Okay. So chill, huh? I want to. Puppy. Are you? Can I hold him? How you doing? Hey, Arlo. 
Now that homegirl just met the dog, what do you think? It's so soft. <laughs> Y'all know the last time Yida Homes, okay, revamped my entire apartment, gave the one of the best like furniture pieces that I've had in a long time. So shout out to Yida Homes, they're local literally in Washington. I really like the TV stand. Okay, like yeah, right, up. the lights, exactly. And I, okay, I honestly got a lot of compliments on that. So we ended up gifting my mom this entire bar cart and it's cute. Ava, tell everyone like what everything is for. This is for like the wine cups. That's so cute. This is plastic. You can put like plates here, napkins, mm -hmm. or you can put it up here too. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is for the ice too. This is for the ice. <gasps> That's so cool. I like how long this is. But then you can also um, pop open your drinks, which Beer. is, yeah, very, Wine. very convenient. You have everything right here. This is like storage. Love that. You could hang anything here. You could hang napkins. You can hang literally anything, you know? So this is not the location that we're gonna put it on, but this is the cutest egg chair ever. And it matches our aesthetic, our theme with gray, you know, very neutral. How comfortable is it though? It's actually very comfortable. It's like very squishy. They're actually very plush. Right? Yeah, I like it. What the heck? Like, this is the extra. Imagine you could put like a blanket over here too, like at night, right? Yeah. Yida Homes definitely helped revamp and piece everything together in terms of like my actual apartment and moving, but we were able to have this chair and also the bar cart, which is amazing. It's perfect for the summer. These amazing products. Now let's get back to the video. <laughs> to go to bed i washed my face did my skincare routine i feel literally so replenished not gonna lie um that was literally today's um entire vlog i mean i was able to save half a day being wasted um like a late start you know to my morning i'm gonna be enjoying my night because puppy is finally sound asleep we have to wake up in three and a half hours let him out well my boyfriend's gonna do that he's gonna take that shift and then i'm gonna have to wake up three and a half hours later to take him out to it's kind of like having a newborn but you saw my family's reaction meeting him for the first time and today was just so eventful i should have filmed more though on him going outside for the very first time like touching grass with us at least in terms of like in our own private gated like home you know like where we know that there are not going to be unvaccinated dogs and like you know but the vet did tell us that we can take them out on some short walks which is really nice i cannot wait to film an actual confirmed one full week of having a puppy you know the real realizations of having one and like puppy blues all that stuff hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please feel free to like subscribe comment down below and don't forget to turn that post notification that way you know what i'm posting for the entire week and we'll definitely see you guys in the next youtube video bye <laughs>